Hey guys, Moan Pobert here with another video and today I'm going to show you how to get business owners to finance your dream. Let's get to it. So hey, welcome to another video. This channel, if you don't know yet, uh, my name is Moan Pobert and this channel is all about how to buy and grow businesses. This is me documenting and sharing my journey. It's all about how to buy businesses and have other people operate in the day to day for us. Check the other videos if you didn't yet, if you want to learn uh, the A to Z basically on how to do things. Today we're going to talk about a very specific thing. Now imagine this, if you have a, a business that you ideally dream about owning, think about it, what would be that business? Now I'm talking existing business that's already making money and that business owner, think of, on that CEO, the person who's running that day to day of that business. Now imagine that CEO, imagine the fact that he will give you a loan to buy his business and he's okay with the fact that you'll pay that loan using that business cash flow. And if you never heard about this basically word of buying businesses, you're probably thinking I'm insane or this is insane and it's not possible. But I'm here to tell you that in this space of acquisitions and buying businesses, you can get at least at least third of the acquisition cost uh, basically financed by the owner. And you can even get it up to 100%. It's literally all up to negotiation. It's very common and it happens all the time. Now, of course, you need to find deals first, you need to talk to many business owners, you need to put yourself out there, check my other videos on how to do that. And I'm assuming you're going out there, you're talking to business owners and you're putting yourself out there as an investor, someone is looking to buy businesses. Now, this term is basically seller notes, or I'm going to talk about a few other things like deferred payments and air notes. And the beauty with that thing, the fact that you're paying part of the acquisition over a period of time is that it gives the business owner some kind of an incentive to help you run and sustain and potentially even grow the business because he knows that part of the cash that he's going to get is going to be financed by the business cash flow. So you got to make sure that the business is still alive to pay that loan basically and pay him part of the acquisition. Now with seller notes, uh, many times, most of the time, you don't need to sign personal guarantees on those. Although there are many times some restrictions on the business if you do those things, like the fact that you can't add more debt into the business or that you can't pay or distribute more cash to the equity partners before you pay that note. And remember, it's all up to negotiation in the end of the day. Now, obviously, it's all up to negotiation. If you have to pay those payments or, or not, there are also something called an earn out. An earn out is basically you paying part of the acquisition over time only if and when the business meets a specific milestone that you agree and negotiate in the first place. Earnouts can be a good thing to the seller because he can basically get paid more if he thinks that the business is worth more if and when the business achieves a specific milestone. At the same time, it's a, a some kind of a protection to the buyer because you only pay a certain amount if and when the business achieves that milestone that that seller said that it's going to achieve. So it's basically a great way to dissolve between uh, the seller expectation and what the potential buyer is thinking that the business is worth. So if the seller is saying, hey, I think the business is going to make X amount of dollars next year, and that's why I think the business is worth X amount of dollars, you can basically negotiate that terms on an aeronaut basis. And you tell the seller, hey, if you think the business is, is worth that much or it's going to make X amount that you're telling that it's going to make, then let's get you make you basically let's get to a point where you're getting paid only if and when the business achieves a specific milestone that you said it will. So yeah, very short one. Um, this is pretty much it for today. It's very important that you'll understand about the idea of uh, just the fact that you can get part of the acquisition cost financed by the business owner as a seller financing or deferred payments or uh, earn outs, and the idea that you don't have to pay everything at closing. I think when I got into this space and heard about the idea that you don't have to bring 100% cash at closing, at completion. And even if you bring that cash many times, it just don't have to be your capital. It can be capital that you raised using the business assets as a leverage or just capital that you raised from other institutions or individuals. And it just make this world of buying businesses so cool and so, so interesting because there's so many different things to play with and every deal is different. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Like the video, help me grow the channel, subscribe if you didn't yet and see in the description below. Join our uh, free Business Mind Mastermind. It's a free uh, group that we opened on Facebook. There's great um, conversations there. 
and also see below there's a survey that I created where you can put your questions and I'll create videos for you because I'm, I'm starting to post daily so I need ideas so let me know in the description below and yeah hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon